Hey, this is Kevin Purcell for Gotta Be Mobile, and what I want to show you today is how to set up Verizon's 4G LTE hotspot on the brand new Apple iPad third third generation. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our settings here, and um, what you have to do is first you want to go into your cellular data, and this account button is going to be a place, that's where you're going to actually set up your 4G um, I've already done that on this one, so I can't really show you how to do it, but uh, this is going to come up with my login screen, but instead of a login screen, it's going to have a place for you to enter your name, uh, email address, set up a new password, and then your credit card information, and once it's um, done, then you're ready to go. After that, then what you're going to do is... You're going to go in here to the personal hotspot. After a while, it'll show up there. Now, for me, it actually took a while before this actually showed up. Um, it didn't happen instantly. And, and I think that's because this is day one, the very first day the iPad came out. And chances are very good that uh, Verizon's kind of struggling with the, the, um, the number of people setting this thing up. So anyway, what you're going to do is you just want to turn this on. You see the on up here at the very top. Uh, once you turn that on... Then you can set up a password. If you tap that, you can set up any old password, you know. And as you can see right here, it gives you the instructions. It's super simple to do. Uh, to connect using Wi-Fi on your computer or choose iPad from the list of network services. And uh, that works great. And you can also connect using your Bluetooth if you turn that on. You can also plug in a USB uh, connector to do it as well. But... Um, that's all it is. Thanks for watching. This has been Kevin Purcell for Gotta Be Mobile.